What's up everybody and welcome back to Lesson on Coding. My name is Ryan Lesson. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to print 1 through 100 in JavaScript in 10 different ways. That's right. So you may be asking yourself, why would I want to do something like this? Better question is, why wouldn't you want to do something like this? Being a programmer means you want to learn how to do the same things in multiple different ways. And that's exactly what I'm going to be teaching you how to do here right now today. And that's printing 1 through 100 in JavaScript in 10 different ways. Let's get after it. Okay. So first things first, let's start off with the famous use of a counter. And then we'll use a while loop. And we'll do while counter is less than 100. We're going to do console.log counter. C-O-U-N-T-E-R. And we are going to, ooh. And then we're going to do counter plus plus to add one to it. Okay, let's come down here and then let's run it. As you can see, oh, 101. There we go, gotta get that last number in. And there we go, one through 100 printed out. First one done. Okay, let's comment this out and let's move on to our next one. Okay, so for our next one, we're gonna want to use a for loop. So this is pretty simple here. We're gonna set i equal to one, we're gonna do i is less than 100, and then we're also gonna do i plus plus console.log i. And then this is actually 101. Let me just switch that real quickly. And let's run it. And there we go, one through 100. All right, two down. Four loop out of the way. All right, next up is another loop that it's there, but most people don't use it. I rarely see this loop, and that is the do while loop. So we're gonna set another counter equal to one. I'm gonna do do, do console dot log counter, and then we're gonna do counter plus plus. So we're gonna add one every time to that counter. And then we're also gonna add in this while right here. So the while is a condition. The condition will be while counter is less than 101. Okay, and then we'll come here and then we'll print them. And there we go, one through 100. Again, perfect, another one done. Let's comment this out and let's move on. Okay, next up, we will be using recursion to do this. So to use recursion, first things first, you need to set up a function. So it's gonna be a recurse me, it's gonna be the name, recurse, C -U -R -R. Yeah, recurse me, a recurse me function. And we will put a parameter in there. And let's come down here and let's add in the function call. And then we'll pass in one. Okay, so first things first is we need to add the base case. And the base case is when we will be breaking out of recursion and we'll be coming back up the stack. So the, the base case will be when number is greater than 100. We're gonna return, so we're gonna break out of this stack. And then if not, we're gonna do console.log num. And then next up, we're gonna do recurse me, the function call with num. And so again, we need to add one to it every time, and we don't wanna do a post add because with using recursion, you need to pre-add it or that number won't be applied. So there we go, we're gonna be adding that right there and we're gonna run it. And there we go, one through 100, recursion down. Okay, what's next? Okay, now we're gonna be diving into using the array function. So the array function has a lot of easy ways to be able to build an array and that's gonna help us print one through 100 very seamlessly. So first things first, we're gonna do array of 101. So this array of 101 objects is an uninitialized is an array of 101 objects that are uninitialized. They have not even been set to undefined. They are just uninitialized in general. And so we have that in this array. So I know if I use this spread operator on this array of array, it's gonna take that 101 uninitialized elements and spread them out in this array. So now we have an array of 101 uninitialized objects. So now we're gonna come in here and we are going to call keys. So what does keys do? Very simple, it returns the index. The index, if you think about it, an array in JavaScript is the object. So the index is the key of that, of that object. So pretty much that lines up with what an array is really doing you know, behind this facade. So we'll be returning that, and then all we're gonna do after that is we're gonna do for each, 
clones. So we're going to be doing four each. We're going to do num, and then we're going to do num console.log num. Okay, there we go. And then let's go here and print it. And there we go, one through a hundred. Perfect. Okay. Moving on, let's comment this out. And let's move on to our next one, which will be another use of the array. And this time we're going to be using array, excuse me, we're going to be using array.from. Okay, so the array.from, the first argument is a duct type argument that's kind of array like. And we know that an array like uh, element here, object, is to be using this length operator. And we can set that equal to 100. Okay, so now that we have this array equal to 100, we know the second argument of array.from is this map function. So we could use this map function right here, and it's very simple to use. So we could come in here, put an underscore as the values. We don't really need this value, and then we could put in the index. We could come here and do console.log, and then we could do index plus one. All right, and then let's clear this out, and then let's go ahead and print that. And there we go, one through 100. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. So next up, we're going to move on to another use of, array, of a, the array function, but this time we're going to do it a little bit differently. We're going to do array.apply. Okay, so when I'm using array.apply, this argument is going to be null here, and we will then be using that same array duct type, array like duct type object, which is going to be length. Okay, a hundred. There we go. Okay, so calling this, I now have an array of 100 elements that are initialized as undefined. This is different by just calling that array right up here, because this would make it uninitialized. This is, an, uh, this is initializing every, uh, every element in this array as, excuse me, this is actually one on one, as undefined. Okay, so now let's move on here. So now we're gonna use the map function. So we're gonna do kind of a quirk with the map function. Essentially what we're gonna do is return the index, we're gonna do it another way. So we're going to do number.call. So this is going to be the callback function. And then we're going to use the this arg. And this arg is going to be the number. Okay. And then we're going to for each over that. And then we're going to come here and we're going to put in num. And then we don't need these. We could just put in console. Console.log. No. Okay. So array.apply. There we go. Let's clear this. Oh. There we go, one through 100. Okay, so just to quickly explain what's going on here, um, right here, number.call. So when we have number.call.number, basically what this is essentially going to do is just return index because it's gonna return number of undefined index array. Because again, everything that we have in this array of 100 is initialized as undefined. So number undefined index array just returns index. And that's all we're doing here is explaining it. We're just doing it with kind of a cool way, and that's what programmers do. Okay, moving on. All right, so next up we have, oh God, okay, so next up we're gonna be setting an interval. So let n equals one, let uh, my interval equals set interval, and then we'll pass in the number interval, which we will define in just a second. Okay, so we're gonna come here and, pet and create a function called number interval. Okay, oh. Okay, so we have this number interval, and first we're gonna do if n is greater than 100, we want to clear the interval actually, so we're gonna run clear interval, and then we're gonna pass in the name of the interval, which is my interval. There we go, okay, and else, what we're going to want to do here is log it n, and then we're going to want to add one to n every time it goes through. So again, since we're running this set interval and we're running it without anything, it runs immediately. There's no timeout to it. We're not adding anything to that timeout right here. So let's go ahead and run this and we'll see one through a hundred. And there we go. One through hundred printed out. Okay. And so last but not least, we'll be using one last method. And we'll be kind of using strings to do this. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one right here, then we're gonna use this pad n. So basically all this is doing is, is adding on strings to the end of this string. So there's pad n and pad start, which basically, <laughs> which basically add different elements to the string. So we're gonna do that, we're gonna do 101 one. So we're gonna be adding that many ones to the end of the string. Okay, and then remember, this is an array of an array. So we have this 
excuse me, it's not array arrays. So basically now, let me just, I'll walk through the steps with you here. So we're gonna basically come in here and do node numbers.js. Oh, let me just print it real quick. Okay, so we're gonna come in here, clear it out. Okay, so basically we have 101 ones, okay? But we don't want that, we wanna spread this out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come here and we're gonna spread it out. So if you spread out a string inside of an array, every individual character in that string will be spread out. So there we go. So now we have an array of 101 elements. And then after that, we're gonna use, we're gonna use the reduce function. Oh, reduce, and then we're gonna pass in the ACC, and then we're gonna pass in the val, okay. We just need the ACC actually, the accumulator for this. And then what we're gonna do now is, excuse me, I forgot uh, that last, there we go. And then what we're gonna do down here is console.log ACC. And we're gonna do ACC plus plus. Okay, to add one to it. And then let's come in here, let's clear this out. Undefined because we did not return. Okay, there we go. But we got one because So we have all ones because we did not prepend it. So we need to prepend it, duh. There we go. And boom, there we go, one through 100. Okay, and that's all folks. Thank you so much for tuning in and learning how to print one through 100 in JavaScript in 10 unique ways, sort of unique ways. I had to do a pretty good amount of looking through the docs and kind of just looking at Stack Overload to learn how to do these myself. Enjoy them. Be sure to show these off in all your coding interviews, especially during Fizz Buzz. And that's all for me. Take care.